We have the amazing Anthony Phils uh, here today. Uh, he is uh, going to talk to us about how to empower accessibility with AI. He'll define what accessibility means, and then he'll show us tools for how to do it. Um, but we uh, prefer calling Anthony the AI Jetty X. And in fact, uh, you can see that's his car's license plate. Um, and uh, inside of Apple, where he is one of the, he works uh, with folks there, he's known as the design, the AI design Jedi. He's a certified AI business strategist from Berkeley. Uh, he was a 2022 Anthem Award winner for product leader of the year. And in 2022, he launched the first AI-generated playbill uh, for Mia Yamauchi's uh, uh, solo show, How to Be Japanese. And he's going to actually go in depth into that case study. A Anthony, would you like to share your screen and 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 your slides? Oh, sure. Uh, sure. I'll do it. Uh, let me go Perfect. And um, Anthony is actually someone whom I met. He's one of our clients. Uh, for our fractional CMO services. And he's one of the co-founders of an amazing product called Leaves that helps build the leaves on your family tree by using a virtual biographer powered by ChatGPT4 to help you tell the story of your life. And they're about to come out in a couple of weeks with the most beautiful uh, AI generated program, which is basically to help tell your meat cute. A meat cute is how you met your honey. Uh, your sweetheart, and they're going to create a simple tool where with a couple of prompts, it will tell the story of your meet cute. Uh, cannot wait uh, to see that product. I just got it demoed in front, uh, yesterday by your co-founder, Mike O'Donnell. Okay. Uh, can you give me the ability to share, please? Okay, there. Yeah, got it. Uh, so far, here we go. So do we see my screen? Yes, we do. And we hear you great. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Okay, great. Thank you so much, everyone. This has been, I've been working hard to get this presentation uh, ready for you guys. But I just wanted to get back to something that Nicole said earlier about the marketing dashboard. Um, in what I'm going to be showing you, I'm actually, the marketing dashboard is part of the journey that we're actually going to right now to get to, to using the marketing dashboard uh, within the pipeline for um, in your business, in your business for doing AI, AI work, so that was really great. And Jeff, also about the training, uh, about training the AI to about diversity. One of the things that um, we've re we've recognized a lot is that if you build a really uh, great team, or I, I guess um, a committee to help when selecting the content or your da the data set is really good to have a little bit of a diversity because we tend to have our own biases kind of do everything and one of the problems and now we're going to jump real quick here one of the problems that we're seeing right now is chat gpt is being fed a lot of content but the communities that don't have computers to have access are not feeding it so it's not learning from that those other communities that don't have access so i'm hoping that the uh, we will really be able to solve that problem with uh, with AI also. But then, anyway, so let let me just jump right in here. Uh, as Dan said, I work with a lot of the comp a lot of companies out there. Presently, I'm I'm working with Apple, Janet Jackson, and uh, Neil right now, Neil Yamauchi, uh, in 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 the field right right now, having a great time at it. But let's jump right in. And also, one of the things here is that um, I tend to be just like AI, I jump around a lot and I'm gonna try to keep, I can keep on my track here. But one of the other things that happened is that this morning when I woke up, it came to my mind uh, for business. I came up with these things called the four, the four C's. Um, I didn't get to make a slide for you, but I just wanna say it because it's, it's right there. I wrote it down, I wrote it down here on a piece of paper for you. The four C's, create, create a new market, and you'll be like the first, the first to it if you create a new market. Compete, improve on something that's existing. Um, cost, use AI to reduce the cost of a process and capture. And capture is a little bit more expensive because it's like, uh, think of it like if I'm a frequent flyer, you, you're going to you're going to use AI to give me better deals than you give the other person. I know it's not too legal, but this is something that does happen. So these are the four C's that I came up with, um, and I just wanted to share it with you all. 
Okay. Okay. So let's let's start. Let's start here. Just the same way I talked about create is like solve a problem that you know best. And since you're you're in your business, you're you have domain expertise. It's like focus on those things that you do the best and try to solve them. And and as as Jeff said also, it's like have um have a technical understanding of what AI can do for you, right? And above all, just like any other business, set set matrix for what is success for you when using this AI, because you just don't want to drop this AI into what you're doing and just go willy nilly. Set some kind of barrier so you know where you're gonna where you're gonna go with it. Uh, next up here is a uh, proven methods. Uh, one of the things that uh, even Jeff re reiterated on is that there are tools that are here today that we can use to leverage leverage and and build for our company. So you know, find find those things out. Um, what what um, consider when? Yeah, yeah. And also, when when you find figuring that out, is what's your secret sauce? Think about what's your secret sauce when you're when you're doing this whole this whole process for incorporating proven methods. And just like I said earlier about building that team, it's uh, having those individuals. It's like, don't look at AI as taking people out of the process. It does, some jobs do get taken away, but don't forget you have these domain expertise. And right now at this beginning age of, of AI, you still need human in the middle of this whole process. So I would still recommend making sure that there is that human interaction within the journey that you're do that you're doing as you're building this building this out. And also, besides having a bunch of uh, ML engineers and dat data scientists and all that, um, still think about the people that are actually working for you within the company that you can um, re um, reassign them to different different positions. To help you out when building up the AI within the, within the corporation, and also think, I know I'm saying all these things like ethical boundaries. This is like depending on what your business is, figure out what those ethical boundaries are for the AI because sometimes AI does some crazy things, and you have to put together a, a fail safe, something that you're going to have to do just in case your AI goes crazy. Figure out something to. Hey, how you're going to mitigate the problem? You know, so think about these things within the path as you as you go forward, as you go forward. Okay. Oh, this is this is fun. So pres presently, um, as my as Dan said, um, we're work. I'm working. I'm a founder of uh, Leaves, um, the virtual biographer, which is coming out soon. Which is a, a fun little niche. That's a niche. It's just a one a, a app that does one thing. To solve a problem, and I've taken the same approach in aviation. We've actually figured it out um, on on the uh, on the tarmac solution that we're using AI to solve. And in our process, we've actually figured out ways to make it grow. So throughout the journey, as we as we're doing this this um, uh, aviation project, we keep growing the AI as 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 we go along. And as we grow, the a the AI is learning. And we we have to teach it a lot of um, uh, um, uh, good and, good and bad because anything that goes wrong in aviation, it's millions of dollars. And one of the I'll tell you what we're actually solving. One of the problems that we're solving, we're solving insurance problems. Because think about it. Uh, oh, sorry. When I say aviation, I mean be very specific. It's uh, jets uh, for for pri for private jets. So when you when you land in land in your private at the airport in the outskirt airports with your private jet, if that jet is is uh, brought into the, um, the the hangar and it gets dinged, right, gets a little hit uh, a little hit on the wing or something, you have to file insurance. So now with our AI in our in our proprietary process that we're putting out, we're going to be solving that problem and help helping with not allowing the plane to get dinged. And it's going to be, it's a long process. We've been working on it now for over a year. But that's, a, that's an industry that we said that we can actually use AI to solve a problem. And that's what we went, we went for. Apple, I wish I could tell you 
all the cool things that I'm doing there at Apple, but uh, I have to, I'm under contract. But I have to say that it's really cool. It's not consumer facing. I could say that much also. It's not consumer facing. It's behind it's behind the scenes, which is also another plus because you feel that you you're you're giving a lot back um, to to society because they have such a big reach. Uh, and next up here, uh, which I'm going to be using as the uh, as my case study, is Mio Yamauchi. She is a, a storyteller. And one of the things that we I found out there in the marketplace is that. When when these artists are telling stories, or even when you're on Broadway doing your stuff, the the market that is under uh, underutilized right now is the uh, people with disabilities. And I and I decided to, that I wanted to put the focus on this area because not not a lot of uh, AI stuff that you see out there right now is actually focusing in on that. It we still do the same stuff, which is you know we put the tags in and, and uh, the the tags and the the alt tag information, but that's standard stuff. And AI is going to do that for us anyway right now. And I think Jeff mentioned that mentioned that before and we'll be seeing that later 